Thank you, Sydney. It's the video that we see every year around Thanksgiving Day. This morning, we have a warning for home chefs trying to put a frozen turkey into the deep fryer. Our Alex Fees joins us now live in Wildwood with some other common mistakes and what you can do to protect yourself and your family this Thanksgiving week. Alex? That's right, Rennie. Good morning. We're here live at Metro West Fire Protection District this morning with, uh, with some certified professionals who are going to help us make our way around the kitchen. But first, we have some cooking tips for you on this upcoming holiday. Monitor your food while you're cooking. Do not leave it unattended. Keep flammables away from the stove, such as oven mitts, wood utensils, uh, food packaging, towels, etc. If you have an oven fire, turn off the heat and keep the oven door closed. That will help. And if you have a grease fire, grab a lid and cover the fire to smother it and turn off the stove top if you can. Never throw water on a grease fire. Now joining me in here now live this morning is Lieutenant Matt Coppin with uh, Metro West Fire Protection. Matt, how are you, sir? Good morning. Good to see you Great again. Good to see you. The fire extinguisher is fake. The fire you're about to see is fake and so is the smoke. That's right. But the but it, get, it gets the point across. That's right. The process is the same. So what we have here is a standard fire extinguisher like you would find at home. Uh, today is a good idea to, to check it out and make sure that uh, um, it's in good working condition. It's not greater than 10 years old. Otherwise, it might be time to, to buy a new fire extinguisher. All right. Let but, it rip, man. Yeah. So uh, if we're cooking here, um, as you mentioned, uh, if we have a fire in the oven, the best thing to do is keep that fire closed, that, that door closed. It keeps the fire in there. But otherwise, we use the mnemonic pass. We're going to pull the pin. We're going to aim the nozzle. We're going to squeeze the trigger. We're going to sweep back and forth here. And when we do that, we can come up and put out the fire. And once it's out, we can turn off the stovetop and turn off the oven. And again, we want to keep that oven door closed when we have a fire inside. That's a fire box designed to contain the heat. And so just let it do its job and, and keep the fire inside. And Matt, you were telling me that people hesitate to call 911 when they should. Yeah, that's right. So if, if you have a small problem in your kitchen, a, a small fire or something, a, a lot of people will try to fix that themselves. And, and all that does is delay help coming. So we would much rather have you call 911 at the onset and then we show up and you say, I think we had a problem, but right. it's under control. Because that's no big deal. for Correct. Fire. That's no big deal. There's no charge for us to come out to check it out to make sure everything's safe. And then we go on our way. Thanksgiving is a busy day for firefighters. It is. Nationally, the, the fire service is three times busier on Thanksgiving wow. than, than a typical day. We also know that from reported home fires, about half of them start in the kitchen. So the kitchen is, is where your odds of getting hurt in your home are the greatest. All right, Lieutenant Matt Cobbin, thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.